the fourth folio edition of the works of William Shakespeare. I'm Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Rare Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this copy of what is one of the major works of uh, English literature of any generation. Uh, it's a folio, which means it's a large format, and this is in a mottled calf binding. The uh, surface of the leather has been treated with some kind of uh, acid during the tanning process to give that effect. Um, it's rather attractive and it's decorated on the spine, um, very much in the taste of the time. The book was published in 1685 and it was probably in the uh, booksellers warehouses for a little while afterwards. So you often see bindings where you can't quite tell. They're all around the turn of the century. So uh, as this is a big book, it's easiest to show it to you using a cushion like this. And it's also kind to the book. And we open it up and see the famous title page and the Drozhout portrait of Shakespeare which is set facing the title page in the first folio. It's actually incorporated in the title page. So this is the complete collection of his Mr. William Shakespeare's comedies, histories and tragedies. And in the fourth folio in 1685, they'd added seven plays never printed before, never before printed in folio. Um, of these, only one of them is um, partly written by Shakespeare, Pericles, that's part of the Shakespearean canon now. That, those had originally been added to the third folio, uh, but the third folio had been largely destroyed by the Great Fire of London. So um, this is basically the, the first easily obtainable, it's not that easy, but it's uh, an obtainable complete copy, as it were, of the Shakespearean uh, dramas. Uh, we see down here there are various imprints there, towards the foot of the page. You can see the different printers, uh, publishers involved in this. So Herringman, Brewster and Bentley. There are some other uh, copies which have a, uh, a different printer's uh, publisher's name there. But um, there's, there's no sort of significance to that in priority of issue. Uh, it's a large uh, setting, the largest of the four folios. And this is a nice tall copy. The plays are printed in double column within this line frame. And this has got nice wide margins, a tall copy. You sometimes find copies have been re rebound and they've been cut down sometimes into the headlines. But here you can see there's white space around the whole. Uh, What's nice with the fourth folio sometimes is to get some kind of early provenance. And uh, here on the back of the title page, we see the first owner and he's put his engraved, his engraved book plate there. He's Sir Simon Harcourt. Uh, he was uh, a leading lawyer. He became sol Solicitor General to Queen Anne in 1702, which is recorded here in the, in the book plate as proud achievement. And it's possible that he actually bought the book at that time. We've seen other evidence where people would make their fortune and then they would buy their Shakespeare folio. It was something for a gentleman to have in his library. And if we look on the front paste down of the book, we see his descendant, who is uh, Edward Vernon Harcourt, uh, in the 19th century. So the book has stayed in the same family from publication down into the 19th century, which is always nice to have a, a, a chain of provenance. The copy itself, the binding is the, uh, is, uh, the original binding. It's had some repair. The joints here, if I turn that, you can see that there's new leather in the joints. The difficulty with calf, calf binding like this, is from 1685 to now. Generally, if the book has been read, and the Shakespeare folio always will be read, uh, the, the uh, joints tend to crack and they have to be restored. That's been done well here. And uh, the corners just restored as well. If I just show you the tips of the corners, just a little bit of leather added at the corners. But all in all, this is a complete copy with no facsimiles, no additions, 
no leaves supplied from other copies. It really is a very nice copy of the fourth folio edition. For more details on this book and other works by Shakespeare and indeed all early literature, please visit our website.